What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So Nano Dimension has been absolutely destroying these price ceilings. I thought this movement would take maybe until the uh, end of tomorrow. Now I wanted to remind you that I put a lot of time and effort into editing these videos and only about one in 10 people actually subscribe to the channel. All I ask from you is that you hit that subscribe button. YouTube is pretty good at figuring out what videos you like to watch. So I highly recommend subscribing to the channel. I also wanted to bring up the Discord server. It's totally free for anyone who wants to join. All you have to do is go down in the description and click on the link. And last but definitely not least, I wanted to say thank you to my newest patron, Georgia Papas. Thank you for your contribution and it really means a lot to me. I'm just gonna go straight to the chart now because uh, in aftermarket hours, or after hours I should say, sorry. It is now approaching the uh, $6 mark like as we speak. Uh, I don't know why it's not updating on uh, this deal, oh my god, it's $6.09. Okay, I'm going to use Weeble's chart just to do some technicals because uh, it's not updating on... Um, Robinhood doesn't quite have the tools yet for uh, nice drawing and indicators and just, you know, tallying up your chart. So uh, I'm just going to stick to Weeble. So right now we're looking at $6.08 a share. And uh, the most notable area that I can see it come to is gonna be the $6.71 area. The reason I say that is because uh, there was no resistance or support after this level. It pretty much fell straight down into the uh, $5.30 to $4.20 range. It's not exactly uh, flat, but I'm gonna try and make it flat. So you guys see, I'm gonna bring it all the way out. I'm gonna bring this one all the way out. So I believe the next price target is going to be around $6.70. If you pay attention to the top left where the open high, low close prices are, um, you can see that at no point here did we close above $5. We didn't close above five here. We didn't close above five here. We didn't even close above five here. But finally today, finally today we have closed above $5. So I think this is a very bullish sign that there is going to be a uh, trend upward from this point on. I think it's going to be really important that we stay above $5 a share. This is outside of penny stock range. We could see some kind of FOMOing happen at this point and people are going to start to jump in on this. So I would definitely watch out in the short term. If you are going to be short term in uh, swing trading, uh, I would definitely watch out with this stock because, because as fast as it can go up, it can definitely reverse and come back down. Now, if it were to do something like that, I still think the $5 point is going to be a uh, new price floor for Nano Dimension. I don't think we're going to see $4 Nano Dimension again, at least in the short term. I don't know, maybe something fundamental would have to change, but um, we've had way too much time to buy Nano Dimension around these price points, so it doesn't make sense for it to go back down there. So if you're constantly on the fence about buying into this company, that's why I say you have to have strong fundamental understanding of nano dimension because if you don't have a strong fund if you don't have a strong fundamental uh, understanding of nano dimension, then you're just going to be scared of the uh, investment as any other random stock that you pick. You need to look at it more than just you know NNDM. Like it's a lot more than just a stock ticker. This is a company that you have to look at. You got to look at it, and when you think you've looked at it enough, look at it some more. So if I'm to keep this really short and concise, I would say that uh, above $5 is a good point now. Um, this is a bullish sign. Um, I think a retest at $5 is going to be another point of entry if you're trying to time the market. But as I've always said, this is a long-term company. So, so if you already know enough about the company, why won't you buy it? That's pretty much my point when people ask me, hey, should I buy it now? Should I buy it now? It's really up to you and your circumstances. Should you go all in? I definitely don't think you should go all in on any stock for that matter. You limit your potential for opportunities if you are invested all in one company. But what you can do is just go a little bit heavier on companies where you feel a lot more conviction. So these are things that you'll uh, get better at over time. You just have to understand the people who are the most patient end up making the most money in uh, stocks and investing in general. It's delayed gratification. I've said it in like 10 of my other videos by now. Delayed gratification pays the best. So the longer you uh, just leave things alone, buy it at a decent price that you feel comfortable with and just hold it for the long term. I definitely think people are going to start FOMOing on this stock or fear of missing out. While this could uh, look really nice in the short term, I think that it's not healthy for the stock if it just starts to go straight up. Um, if you're trying to swing trade and you're trying to lock in some profits, you know, maybe this is great. But um, for the people who are uh, FOMOing and chasing the price, if there is a pullback, it's going to hurt a lot of people. 
So um, what I would say is the best opportunity in a stock is to buy it at a cheap enough price that you are comfortable with and holding that stock in and throughout whatever uh, life throws at it basically. Pretty much I think right now a lot of us who are invested in Nano Dimension are uh, very happy right now and I hope this can be a lesson that if a company looks good and you study them and everything just seems to look right just because the stock price is cheap doesn't mean it's a bad company. Stock price is one thing, a company's intrinsic value is something entirely different. So Christmas came a little bit early in terms of uh, short-term price targets, but I definitely am not saying this is the end for Nano Dimension. $6 is really just the beginning. It's going to start getting more attention. People are going to start to keep their eyes on it more. Um, this is just a really good sign for Nano Dimension. So if you are invested, good job. If you're thinking about investing, um, just look more into the company and figure out what price you're comfortable with. I think if you get it for under $5 at this point, it's still a good deal. So uh, if we see that under $5, definitely good. $6 and on, there is a chance for a pullback down to $5 because today is the first day that we have closed above $5 in pretty much the uh, last 12 months. So, But really, if we look at the long term of things, I mean, they have like only up to go. So you just have to find a price you're comfortable with. Uh, I say it all the time. For whatever reason, people like to look at stock price like it's... Uh, like it's all that matters in a company. But I don't remember where I heard it. I heard that um, price in stocks in the short term is uh, essentially a voting tool. But as you go out in time long term, it becomes a weighing tool. So it just starts to accumulate more and snowball more. We've already smashed through our $6 price target. So at this point, I am uh, kind of neutral until it does fall back down to around $5. But if you're willing to hold it long term, uh, between $6 and $5 is about a a 20% drop. So uh, just keep that in mind. That is the potential for the pullback. But anyways, I'm very glad we got our $5 confirmation in stock price. And I think this is just going to start pushing the price up even more. I wanted to say thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. I think we're actually approaching a thousand a hundred already before I even got the chance to make this video. So thank you guys a lot for that. You guys are awesome. If you liked what you were watching, please go ahead and hit that like button and you should even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. That's it for today. I hope we make a ton of money in the markets and I will see you in the next video.